Hi everyone, I'm Tom. And I'm Mom. And today on Tom and Mom Play, we're playing... Wandering Towers. Yep, we are wizards who are trying to get to Raven's Keep, but we've procrastinated, trying to learn new spells, and we are rushing to try to make it into the keep as well as fill up our potions. But to do that, we're going to have to trap wizards and take their essence. Um... That's essentially the game. We're trying to fill our potions, get our wizards into the keep by playing cards. Ta-da! That's the game. We are all set up for a two-player game where we are going to have five wizards each. Uh, and we, uh, whoever the first player is, you put the first one out, then second player. And we, for us, we just go back and forth. If you had a third player, you would go one, two, three, one, two, three, following these little uh, ghost spirit We'll say how many that are allowed on top. So that is our setup. So mom has a little bit of an advantage <laughs> going a little bit further out. Uh, but how do you play? On your turn, you can you play uh, two cards. And the cards come in the flavors of move your wizard, move the tower, uh, move a tower, I should say. Uh, and then there's some that have both the wizard and the tower, but you're only gonna pick one half of that card to do. Um, when you move a tower, you just pick up the piece and move it as far as it says. So we'll just say there's a tower one for here. If you trap a wizard uh, by doing so, you flip a flask. You need to have all of your flasks filled in a two player game. That is going to be six flasks filled. Six flasks filled is that, that's 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 fun to say, um, and you can kind of tell this is now a memory game because I can't just peek and look and see what's underneath that. I can only do that when I move a tower. And now that we have a two high tower, say we wanted to move a tower again, we have an option. I can either move the whole thing, or I could just move the top piece. Um, or if there was three, you can split up whichever way you want. But once you start moving it. That's how you're moving it. Uh, there, there's no free cheeky peek uh, going on there. Uh, the only tower that cannot move, and there is a slight exception to this, is Raven's Keep itself. Uh, once uh, you can't use a card to move it, however, if it is on top of a tower, and we'll get into how that can happen here in a little bit, then you can technically move the tower that's underneath of it. Um, we want to get our wizards into the tower by uh, yeah playing the wizard cards. So like this here has a wizard one on it. So if this was here, he would boom, go right into the tower. But say this had a wizard two, he doesn't, he, he just goes onto the rim and then jumps past by one. You gotta get in exact. And when you're moving, you have to use your full movement and you are only moving one of your wizards. Uh, the only other type of card we have to watch out for, and let's see if I can find one, is something that has this symbol on it where it shows two dice. Um, it could show one, two, or three dice, and what will happen is you roll the die, and that determines that our wizard can move five. I could re-roll that, but I will be stuck with the second result. And if this was a wizard and a tower, once again, you only pick one or the other, you get to pick after you roll the dice, which uh, is really nice. And say for some odd reason, you cannot legally play any of your cards. Uh, say your wizards are hidden and all you have are wizard movement cards. Your entire turn is discard your entire hand and draw three new cards. That is your turn. We also have these special potion abilities. Uh, for cost of one, we get to move a tower up to two spaces, or at a cost of two filled potions, we can move a wizard one space. You can only use one of those on a turn, and once you use it, your potion, if it's filled, will go onto there, and it's not gonna come back to you, because if we both make it in, have all the potions filled, uh, we, uh, we the, Potions become the tiebreaker. Uh, so it depends on who has the majority uh, of those if we both make it into the same round. I'm gonna be the first player, so if I end up finishing it, I, I have all mine filled, all my uh, wizards and wiz, uh, wizettes 
in their <laughs> wizards and witches. Wow, wit wizards. I'm going. I'm going with that now. Uh, if I have uh, all my non-binary wizards into Raven's Keep and my potions filled, Mom will have one final turn uh, to try to do the same. Uh, if she does it, it's game over. Um, it, it ends right there. We get an equal number of turns. Uh, once a wizard or um, is inside the keep, the keep will move. Um, and we find the next raven space that is unoccupied, and it goes into there. So we could go here. There's some that are printed right onto the ground. If all of them are occupied, it just stays where it is. Uh, and nothing can go on top of our keep. And if your turn, and this would break the uh, two cards uh, rule, if the first action you do has your wizard go inside the keep, that will end your turn right then and there. I think that's about everything. Um, these could be different uh, tiles if we wish. We're just using the basic beginner tiles. And yeah, we have a little bit of a different camera angle going on instead of the usual straight top down. So this way you can maybe see the layers a little bit. So hopefully everything's looking all right. Uh, we'll find out. But let's give ourselves our three starting cards. All right, I'll put a little draw and then let's, uh, we'll just do it like our discard here. Okay. And so when, when you play a card, play it into here. Okay. That way I, I'm fairly certain it'll be able to be seen on camera. Um, and one of the things we have learned is the earlier you fill your potions, the better life is. Um, so that is what I'm going to try to work on, and I'm going to play this either or card with a die symbol on it. So I get to roll the die, then pick what is moving. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Five on a tower movement. And then for my second. One, two, three. What do I want to do? Um, I'm going to move a wizard. One, two, and three. And that is my turn. Mom's up. Okay. I'm moving the first tower. Okay. One. Okay, you're moving the first tower one, so it is going to trap Yep. those two, so go ahead and flip a potion. And for your second card. Um, I'm moving a that same tower. Yep, moving the same tower. Three. Do you want the whole thing or just the top? Just the top. Okay, so... One, two, three. So, no second potion. Nope. Mm, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't want to help you out that much. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move this tower. One, two, three to fill a potion. Um, I'm going to move this tower one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the other thing when we were talking about legally playing cards, so say all I had was move towers three, I can technically play back here, but if for some odd reason we had a mega tower, all of them stacked up here, and all I had was move tower three, that'd be another time where I would have to discard my hand and uh, exname a turn. So. Because uh, they can't go on top of the tower. So, you are up. Okay, I'm moving that little wizard over there. Okay. One. Alrighty. And for your second card. Four. I'm moving the whole thing. Okay. Four. Okay, so you want the whole tower. Yep. One, two, three, and four. All right, let's get you two new cards. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to move a tower, too. Doot, doot. 
And that will get me one of my potions. Uh, and I don't have a ton of choice here. I'm gonna move that one wizard, one space. You're up. Okay. I'm moving that tower. Yep, you're covering my. <laughs> yep. So one. go ahead, grab your potion. Grab my potion here. Nicely done. And then. Um, I'm gonna roll. Okay, so this is for wizard movement. Uh, aim about here if you can help it. Uh, it's currently a four, so one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. You have a reroll option. I'm gonna reroll. I had a feeling. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're moving one of them. I'm gonna move one of those. Six, All right. Please. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that was your second card. Yep. Yep. Good job. Thank you. There's those. Well, I am going to go ahead and move a tower. One. To uncover my my one dude. And then, and grab myself a potion because I covered yours. I'm then gonna move a tower two. Let's grab that. However, I am going to spend two of my potions to move a wizard, one space. So it was in the addition to my two cards. So I have my first one in, but it cost me two. And so this, I'll draw my two, and it's your turn. Yep. Um. The one thing you can always do is you can always look inside the keep to see how many uh, wizards that you have in there. It's a good way to verify if you have all of them in or to remember how many are still out. I'm going to take the first two of those. First two? First two. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you for finding two of mine. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the top one of this one. Okay, I'm going to go two. You're going two? Two. All righty. It's your turn. Let's grab you a couple new cards. What we got here? I can move a tower. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Okay. Moving a tower four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yes. Thank you. Whoop. Ah. One, two, three, four, and five. So the keep. Go ahead and move there. And you are up. Three. Okay, I'm going to move. Okay, I'm gonna move the tower five. Okay, um, you want the whole thing or just the top? Just the top. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Well, you found your friend. Five. Then I'm gonna move it another five. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You cannot I move that I, tower five. I can't move that. You could one, two, three, four. You can move this tower five, I'm that one five which will please. get you a potion, but cover both of us here. Yeah. But it also uncovered your other friend. Yep. So there we go. Yep. All right. Thank you. Very welcome. Um, I'm gonna play my move a tower three and go one, two, three, and I just uncovered two of yours while covering up your other. But I got my last potion filled. So 
I'm very much a happy camper. And then I'm gonna move this one, two. You're up. Okay, I'm moving. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm moving that tower over there. This one here? Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five, which will get you a potion. You only have two left to fill. I'm done filling potions. Yep. For your second card. Um. I'm moving that little wizard over there. Yep. Yeah. Four. Four. Thank you. Run! All right, <laughs> let's get you two new cards. He's trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember where. Okay. I'm going to go two. Just taking the top. No! Oh, that would have been good a second ago, I think. So I'm going to spend a potion to move this one, two. It covers a wizard, but I'm full, so that doesn't matter. But for my second card, we're going to go one, two, three for the dunk. And then... You are up. And remember, if you have a four to get in, you might want to play another card first to move stuff around. Yeah. Um. Because if you dunk, that ends your turn. I'm just going to move this tower one. Okay. So now do you have a wizard three? Nope. Well, you, you, you still play a second card. Yeah. Um, um, you could always spend a potion to move the tower two spaces. And I don't know if you have a wizard one. I'm trying not to look at your hand. I'm going to spend... Yeah, it spends one to push this two spaces. Yep. And then if you have a wizard one, you can get him right in. Nicely done. <laughs> Sound effects are mandatory. Okay, what we got? Um, oh, you're problematic. Because where are my guys? Um, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to move this. One, two, three. Four, five, no! And then for my second, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Hey, I found uh, I found another one of yours. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, you're up. Okay, I'm moving that tower there. This one. One. Yes. How are you moving it? One. That's a two. Okay, with this one. But that one, okay, perfect. <laughs> so that gives you a potion. Yep. Put this over. Do, 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 do. Um, and for your second card. Wizard up there. This one? Yep. Okay. Two. Two. Alrighty. Do you want to spend two potions to get him home? Or are you holding yep. off? I'm gonna hold off. Okay. That is fair. Thank you. You are welcome. One, two, three, four. Alright. Oh, this helps you more than it helps me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to move a tower four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, and then I'm going to move this tower. One, two, three, and four. My potions are filled, so that's... I'm just being a bully at this point. 
and you are up. Okay. Um. I'm moving this tower, this tower here, five. How much? Whole thing, just the top? Just the top. Okay. Please. One, two, three, four. Ah! Then fill your last potion. <laughs> um, fill your last potion. Okay. Before okay. we forget. Okay, yeah. thank you. Very welcome. There. Um, And I'm moving this, just the top tower. Yep. One. Okay. And do you want to spend two potions to put the wizard in? Yep. Okay. Now this goes to here. And let's get you two new cards. Thank you. Well, interesting. I'm gonna move this tower one. Hello. And now I gotta remember where everybody is. You know, I'm gonna move this tower. One, two, three, four. They're not there. You are up. Um. I'm moving this tower. The whole thing or just the top? Just the top. Okay. Moving it to two. 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 And I'm going to roll for my little guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll. You have a six currently. Do you want the six or do you want to re-roll it? I'll take the six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Not a bad turn. Um. Oh, sorry. Let's get you two new cards. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, I'm going to roll to move wizard or tower. Five. I will move the tower. One, two, three, four. Five, and for my second, I'm gonna move two. You're up. Okay, I'm moving this little guy here. Yep. Three. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. And then. I'm gonna roll for him. Okay, and then this will be a roll. For, and after you roll it, you can pick if it's gonna be for tower or for your wizard. I think I know which one it'll be, but three. I'm gonna take him three, please. You're right, welcome. Let's get you two new cards. You good? Good. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna try to move a tower one. Ah, okay, there we go. And then two to go in. So this is going to move, and we're just going to do a little bit of a count. I have four of my five in, and my last is now showing. You have two of your five in with two showing. So one of yours is still hidden somewhere. And the next tower is right there, so... Be very cautious. Yep. Um, okay, I'm going to move this little wizard here. Okay. Five. Five. One, Please. two, three, four, five. And for your second action. Okay, and...
Do you have a one or a two by chance? Nope. Do you have a tower movement of two by chance? Yep, I do. Okay, because if you can move this one. two and then spend the two potions, you can get one mm -hmm. in. It's pricey, but it's doable. I'll do that. Okay, do you want the whole tower or just the top? Just the top. Just the top. And it's two? Yes. And well, that goes that side. Jumps in. Jumps in. Perfect. The next one is all the way over yonder. All right. Well, it's my go. I'm going to go ahead and roll a die potentially twice. Six. Um, yeah, I'll leave it one, two, three, four, five, six. I almost debate about taking both of us over. So if I go one, two, one, two, no, okay. So then I'm going to play a movement of four. One, two, three, four. You are up. Ready to hand me a couple cards, please? Oh, I should have. I owed you those two on top. I'm sorry. That's okay. There we go. Nothing. Mm, we gotta get a guy around there. <laughs> Four. Do I have. Yeah, I'm gonna move this little guy here. Okay. Four. You move in the tower or the wizard? The wizard. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hello. And for your second card. And then I'm going to move him three. Three? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. You don't have enough to dump him. Nope. <laughs> Remember your cards this time. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I have just enough to make this work. Okay. I'm going to spend one potion to move a tower to. <laughs> he's going to jump. Um, in a second, he's going to jump because then the whole tower is going to move one. No! <laughs> and then uh, my wizard is going to jump in. Um, so that is, and I, I will, I'll double check it. That is all five of my wizards. All six of my potions have been flipped. You technically have one more turn to at least try to uh, even up the, to, to at least boost your score at the end a little bit because at this point, mom would not be able to make a comeback. No. And even if you did, you would not have the tiebreaker. Well, let's see if you can get one more in. Because you know you have someone at the bottom of this tower here. Yep. Um, yeah, you can move it two spaces. I'm going to move it two spaces here. Yeah. Doof, doof. And then try to roll twice. Well, I, I, would, I would roll... Because I know the ending of this game, I don't mind peeking a little bit. So, this gives you two chances to try to roll a one, two, three. You need a four. I need a four. You need a four. Hey! <laughs> there you go. One, two, three, four. That is the end of the game. Um, you did, you had four of your wizards in. Do you remember where your last one was? Oh, I think he's buried over there someplace. Oh, did he, oh, nope, I was wrong. Ah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's uh, that's Wandering Towers, everybody. Um, this game plays up to six players. Uh, there is a solo variant as well. I've played this at uh, two. We've played uh, at three player, and I've also played it at five player. I like this game with more people. Um, two players fun it's still kind of cat and mouse and there's much more to remember um, 
What are your thoughts? I love this game. <laughs> yeah, me too. It is fun. It's like, like you said before, it's it's memory. Yes. It, it's okay. Movement. <laughs> yeah. It's not hard to play. It's not hard. It's it, it's really not. It's just remembering where your pieces are. And there was, there was someone over on Board Game Geek who had a suggestion for a two-player variant, which I thought was interesting, is each person plays with two colors. So you, you make it a four you, you make it a four player game. Oh. But you both play two colors. And I was like, that's so much more to remember. I I I I, I, I like that variant though. Um, it definitely would crank up the game time, but um, it still doesn't take that long to play it. Um, and I really like this at five player. Uh, so the, the higher the player counts, the fewer wizards you have and the fewer potions you have to get in. But there's so much more chaos. Um, and I, I noticed in a five player game, I when, it, when I drew cards, I didn't look at my cards because I knew the board state was going to be weirder than weird before it got to my turn. <laughs> when a two player, I'm paying a little bit more attention. Um, and yeah, it's very much more cat and mouse at two player, but it's still fun. Because you... Because you'd be sitting here and it's like, okay, my, my dude's there. Yeah. I can do this. I got the card to do this and then I can dunk him in. Yeah. And then all of a sudden that tower goes, nope. 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 Not going to let you do it this time. Yeah. And then we, you might not get him in at all. Or you true. might have to. Yeah, you might you might have to pivot, yeah. um, do, do something else. Yeah. Um, one thing that gets frustrating is when stuff gets moved in a way where it's like, oh, if I could just move this off of my piece who might say they're underneath, and then I still have enough to get in, but then all I have is a move two and you can't put the tower on top. It's, nope. it's, it's, <laughs> it's frustrating. Um, it's fun, but it's frustrating. Yeah. yeah, it's... Um, so yeah, I, mean, I would say higher player counts are a little bit better than two player. Maybe maybe try that variant that uh, was was suggested. Um, but definitely definitely give this game a whirl. Mm -hmm. And um, once you build these towers, because uh, this question just came up to us the other day, um, it just goes right back into the box, built, um, separated out, which works. Very nice. And then the other thing is there are these other spells that can be used in place of what is uh, already out there. And then, yeah, there's the, the solo variant, which I haven't tried, uh, but maybe down the road I'll give it a whirl. Um, you have anything else you want to add? Nope. All right. So that is Wandering Towers. Uh, thank you so much. If you liked this video, uh, please uh, click the like button below. I give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Tom and Mom play board games, video games, Lego, pumpkins, depending on when you see this video. If it's around the fall, there might be pumpkin videos. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.